Hey everybody, the Technical Wizard here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to virtually mount or open an ISO file on Windows XP or Server 2003. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the screen a little bit so y'all can see this better. There we go. So first you're going to want to download a program called uh, Virtual CD Control Panel. Now, once you've done that, you're going to have to set it up, and I will show you all how. So with this program will come a file, a driver file. You want to go to your My Computer, go to the local disk C hard drive, go to Windows, and go all the way down to System32. Find your drivers folder, which is... It's under DHCP and, and above EN. What you're going to do is get that file and drag that sucker and drop it in system 32 drivers right here. And then once you've done that, exit out, open the virtual C control panel, and you're going to want to go to driver control. And you will see an installed driver. Let me driver. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this. You're going to want to click install driver. And you're going to want to go to where you drop that file. You go to your local disk C, Windows. I would type in the link, but I'm already here. Go to System32. Go to Drivers, VCD ROM SYS. That's what the file is called. Open it. And hit OK. And something went wrong with mine, so. Alright, so for a little bit, for some reason, uh, that little driver issue, but restart the server, it's all good. So I'm going to show you all how to mount a image. Make sure I don't have a, okay. So first we're going to want to add a drive. Add failed, what the heck? Alright, so as it turns out, there was nothing wrong with it. And I'm stupid because I forget, forgot to hit start the driver and hit OK. So after that, you're going to want to hit add a drive and you'll have drive Z right here, assuming that you're not using it. Then to mount an image, you're going to want to hit mount, go to where the location of your image is. For example, I'm going to be installing the Service Pack 2 for Windows 2, Server 2003. Got the image, hit OK and it's mounted. So you're going to want to go to your computer and you can see right here, I'll zoom in for y'all since it's really tiny. Sorry about that, but Zhang C, uh, Drive Z, it now appears as a CD-ROM drive. Go ahead and click on it. And it goes goes ahead and brings up the guide for Windows Server 2003 Server pa Service Pack 2. I talk too fast and all these jibbers up, but whatever. So go ahead and right click it, open it, and open the application. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this, and I hope you all enjoyed this short little tutorial, and hopefully it'll be helpful to some of y'all. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. This is the Technical Wizard, signing off.